Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ng math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa rational numbers. Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang na pindot yun na ng like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, tatandaan ninyo mga anak, ang rational numbers, yun yung mga fractions. Ha? Meron kang numerator, meron kang denominator, and sometimes you have that uh, full number para maging mixed number siya. Okay, in this learning task number one, we have to translate the given statement into fractions and into decimal. So, paano ba natin siya gagawin? Paano ba tayo magta-translate? So, let's have this one. Three tenths. Okay, so ito, madali natin i-convert into fractions. Sinasabi lang nito na, na you have three as the numerator and tenths as the denominator. So, you will have here three over 10. Now, the, problem is, the problem is, how are we going to make it into decimal? Para mas madaling maging decimal number ang fraction, make sure na ang kanyang uh, denominator ay nasa base na at uh, 10, 100, and 1,000. Kasi mas madali siyang maiko-convert by moving the decimal point. O, katulad nito, 3 over 10. So, kung meron tayong a numerator na 3, dahil you have 1, 0 here, if the decimal point of the whole number is after the number, dahil ito ay may isang 0, you move it once. Kasi isang 0 lang. So, ibig sabihin, ang final answer mo with the decimal uh, translation of 3 over 10 is 0 0.3. Okay, so this is 3 tenths, and this is three tenths. Okay? Next, we have two fifths. The numerator is two, the, den the denominator is a five. So, two over five. Okay? As you can see, ito na yung fraction natin, pero sabi ko, diba, mas madali na maging decimal siya if our uh, denominator is with 10, 100, 1,000. Okay? Now, since this is 2 over 5, para maging base 10 ang ating denominator, we have to multiply this by 2. Kasi 2 times 5 is 10, ba? So, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 5 times 2 is how many? 10. Okay? So, since you have 4 tenths na, ibig sabihin, you will have 4, and then the decimal point is after, dahil 10 ito, you have to move once. Okay? So, your final answer will be 0 0.4. Okay? This is now our number 2. 2 fifth and 0 0.4. Now, 145 thousandths. Okay? 145 thousandths. So, 145 and then thousandths. Hmm. Ayan. So, meron kang numerator na 145 over 1,000 siya. Okay? So, pwede din natin muna itong i-lowest term. Okay? You can lowest term it as kung divisible to by 5. Pero okay na to 145 over 1,000. Pero kung uh, i-ask ng teacher mo na, ito, na dapat lowest term yung answer, pwede naman siya, ha? This is divisible by how many? 5. Sige nga, tingnan natin. 145 divided by 5. This is 2. This is 10. 45. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Okay, so you will have 29 over uh, 1,000 divided by 5. 1,000 divided by 5. This is 2. O, oh, 200. Okay. Or ito, ha? 
Uh, now, pero ang basis natin, when we have the decimal part, syempre, nandito tayo sa may 1,000 ang denominator. So, 145, ilang zero yan? Tatlo. So, from here, you move 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, the final answer will be 0 0.145 thousands. Okay. Next, 3 fourths. Okay? 3 over 4. O, ganun lang siya kadali. And then, kailangan maging base 10 or base 100 or base 50 to. So, dahil ito ay 4, hindi siya pwedeng maging 10 kasi wala kang pwedeng i-multiply kay 4 para maging 10. So, you multiply it by, uh, ilan kaya? So, 25 para maging 100. Okay? So, 25, 25. 3 times uh, 25 is 75. 4 times 25 is 100. Ayan, pwede na natin i-translate. So, you will have 75, di ba? Nandito yung decimal point. Move ka ng dalawa kasi dalawang zero yan. So, your final answer will be 0 0.75. Okay. Next, for number 5, you have 9 hundredths. Okay, so 9 hundreds. Okay, so 9 over 100 is the fractional form. Now, ano naman ngayon yung decimal form niya? So, 9. Ilang beses ka magmove dahil 100 to, dalawang 0, you move 1, 2, or point zero. So, the final answer will be 0 0.09. Okay, that's it. Okay, now, for learning task number 2, perform the indicated operations. Mga anak ko, may separate video tayo how to uh, how to convert a fraction to mix and then to improper. Tapos, meron din tayong video how to get the LCD, yung mas mabilis na paraan. And separate video sa addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction ng fractions. Kung gusto nyo mapag-aralan siya deeply ng mas malalim pa, you just click do sa video and then watch for it. Ha? Marami tayong example doon. But here, uh, naka-align ito doon sa ating module. Okay? So, we have here 5 over 6 plus 7 over 12. T tandaan niyo na, na you can only add fractions if they have the same denominator. But obviously, we have 6 and 12 dito na hindi sila the same. So, we have to get the LCD. On my video, sinabi ko doon yung technique on how to get the LCD. Okay, pag ang maliit na number, kayang i-divide yung malaking number, then the LCD is the bigger number. So, let's check. Kaya bang i-divide ni 6 si 12? 12 divided by 6, kaya. ba? That's 2. So, obviously, our LCD here is 12. And then, plus 12. And then, we have to get the equivalent fraction having the denominator of 12. So, paano gagawin natin? 12 divided by 6 is 2 times a 5 is 10. So, ano ginagawa? Divide times. And then, dito din, divide times. 12 divided by 12 is 1 times the 7 is the 7. And then, we add 10 plus 7 is how many? Okay, again, 10 plus 7 is 17 over 12. Okay, now, we usually uh, convert this one into mixed number kasi improper siya, diba? So, paano natin ginagawa yun? We divide. Uh, 17 divided by 12, ilang 12 meron kay 17, that is 1. And then, ilang, kung may remainder, kung may isang 12, and then 17 minus 12, ilan na matitira? 5 over 12. Okay, so, you can have 17 over 12 or 1 and 5 over 12. Now, for number 2, 3 over 5 plus 1 over 3. Okay, now we have this, uh, uh, the similar fractions. So, kailangan natin kunin yung LCD na nila. Now, ba sabi ko, ang technique, kung kayang i-divide ng mas maliit na number, yung malaking number, then you have that as the LCD. Pero if not, you multiply. Okay, let's see. Can 3 divide 5? 5 divided by 3? Hindi, diba? So, you multiply 5 times 3, you have 15, and then you have 15. And then, divide times, so 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 3 is 9. And then, 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 1, you have 5. Okay? And then, 9 plus 5, you have, ilan? 14 over 15. 
Okay, dahil ito ay lowest term na, okay na to, ha? Ngayon kung ang sagutin nyo ay hindi pa dyan naka lowest term, i-lowest term nyo. Meron din tayong separate video on how to lowest term, ha? Panoorin din mga anak. Okay? And then we have this one for over 7 plus 2 over 21. Oh, let's check. Dahil magkaiba sila, let's try to identify ano yung LCD. Can 7 divide 21? Yes, of course, diba? Kasi multiple ni 7 si 21. So, we use 21. 21 divided by 7, that's 3. Times 4, you have 12. 21 divided by 21 is 1 times 2 is how many? 3. Okay. Ulit, ulit. 21 divided by 21 is 1 times 2. Tapos 3 nilagay ni Teacher Maria. No? No, teka, ulit, ulit, ulit. 21 divided by 21 is 1 times 2 is 2. And then we add 12 plus 2 is 14 over 21. Ito yung sinasabi ko, pwede pa siyang i-lowest term, di ba? Divisible by 7. Okay, so we have 14 divided by 7, 2. 21 divided by 7, that's 3. So we have 2 over 3. And then, for subtraction, same rule lang. Ang pinagkaiba lang, we have to subtract. Okay? So, this is this one. Since we have 4 and 12 LCD natin, check natin if 4 can divide 12. Yes, diba? Pwede. So, 12 and then 12. Then, divide times. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 2 is 6. Divide and then times. And then, 12 divided by 12 is 1 times 3 is how many? 3. Okay? And then, we can subtract now. 6 minus 3, that is 3 over 12. Now, pwede pa tong i-lowest term. So, di, uh, divisible sila by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 3. <laughs> sorry. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Ayan, sorry, is 1. And then, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, we have 1 over 4. Baka tinatanong nyo, Teacher Maria, saan po ba nakukuha yung dinidivide? Isip kayo ng pinakamataas pinaka na number na pwedeng i-divide mo on both numerator and de uh, denominator. Dapat divisible sila sa parehong numerator and denominator. Hindi pwedeng kay numerator lang, hindi pwedeng kay denominator lang. Kasi sa pareho nyo sila i-divide. Okay, now for number 5. Five. Oh, that's one-fourth, ha? Ano nangyari sa ating, ano? Bumababa. Ayan, okay na. So, we have here this one. So, 3 and 4. Ano ang LCD nila? Dahil si 3, yung smaller number, cannot divide yung 4 natin, which is the bigger number. Then, we multiply them. 3 times 4 is 12, and then 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1. You have 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 2, you have 6. And then, we subtract. O, i-apply natin yung integer sa 4 minus 6. Dahil mas malaki si 6, which is, o, oh, dali natin to ha, K, C, C. Keep, change, and then change. O, para mas ma-imagine ninyo. 4 plus negative 6. Dahil mas mataas, ano, dahil ito ay positive, ito ay negative, different sila. So, we have to subtract. 6 minus 4, you have 2. And then, use the sign of the bigger number, which is over 6, kaya negative yan, over 12. Pero, kailangan i-lowest term, divisible by, tama, 2 over 2. So, 2 divided by 2, you have uh, 1. And then, 12 divided by 2, you have 6. But, you, you get the sign, kaya negative 1 over 6. Okay? For number 6, we have multiplication. Ha? Sa multiplication, para hindi na tayo mag-lowest term at the end, we check kung may pwede tayong ma-cancel. Pwede tayong mag-cancel ng numerator to denominator. Okay? Yung pababa, ha? Or yung pa-diagonal. Ayan na pag-ganyan. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-cancellation ng pag-ganyan, ha? This is wrong. Hindi pwede to. Okay? So, let's check. 4 and 5, pwede, may pwede ba tayong i-lowest term? Wala. 2. And 9, wala rin. 4 and 9, wala rin. 2 and 5, wala rin. So, we simply multiply numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. 4 times 2, you have 8. 5 times 9, you have 45. And then, we have it. 
Oh, mas madali pag multiplication. And then we have here for number 4, 7 over, ah, 4 over 7 times, so negative 4 over 5. O, pwede bang makans? May pwede ba tayong ma-lowest term dito? 4 over 7, wala. 4 over 5, wala. 4 and 5, wala rin. 4 and 7, wala rin. So what we do is to multiply 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and then 7 times 5 is 35. Okay? Naalala yung rule sa multipli multiplication. Kapag different sign yung minumultiply natin, ibig sabihin, ang ating sign for the final answer will be negative. Ha? Positive times negative is negative. So, we have this one. Now, for division naman, we just have to get the reciprocal of the, na, the divisor and then proceed to multiplication. So, kung ito ang divisor natin, ito yung dividend, diba? Ito yung divisor. We have to get this, uh, the reciprocal of this. Okay, naalala yung reciprocal. Kung 1 half siya, magiging 2 over 1. Correct. Kung siya ay 7 over 8, ang reciprocal niya ay magiging 8 over 7. Tama. Pinagbabaliktad, piniflip, ha? So, this will become a 5 over 6. And then, this will become times. And then, this will become 12 over 7. Kasi ipiflip natin siya. So, may pwede ba tayong ilawest term dito or i-cancel? 5 and 6, hindi pwede. 12 and 7, hindi pwede. 5 and 7, hindi rin. But 6 and 12 can be. Okay? So, divisible sila by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then, we can multiply. 5 times 2, you have 10. And then, 1 times 7, you have 7. So, your answer is 10 over 7. Now, let's go to this one. 5 over 7 divided by negative 3 over 14. So, we have this one as its reciprocal, ha? I-reciprocal natin. So, 5 over 7, yung division magiging times na. And then, you will have here 14 or negative 14 over 3. Negative yan, ha? Okay, may pwede ba tayong makancel? 5 and 7, hindi. 14 and 3, hindi. 5 and 3, hindi. But 7 and 14, pwede. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. Okay, 5 times 2, you have 10. Dahil isang positive, isang negative yan, the sign is negative. Negative 10 over 3. Okay, pwedeng gawing mixed number, ha? This is or negative 10 divided by 3. Ilang 3 meron kay 10? Tatlo, ba? So, that's 3 times 3, 9. So, ilang pa kailangan ni 9 para maging 10? That's 1. So, 1 over 3. Panoorin nyo yung video natin sa pag-convert, pag ha? Dito kasi medyo mabilis na kasi inaasahan ko. Nandun na kayo na panood nyo na yung separate video. And for number 10, we have 2 over 5, 6, and then plus 3 over 2, 5. Tama ba yung sinabi ko? So, we just add 2 plus 3. Ay, wait. Multiplication ata dapat to. So, ayan. Kailangan gawin muna natin siyang improper, ha? O, paano natin gagawin improper? 6 times 2, that's 12. And then, plus 5. Okay? So, this is 6 times 2, 12 plus 5. You have 17 over 6. And then, 3 times 5 is... 15 plus 2, you have 17 over 5. And then, we have to multiply. What is 17 times 17? That's 289 over 30. Aha, 6 times 5 is 30. So, okay na yan. Kung gusto nyo gawing improv, uh, mixed number, you can by dividing, ha? Ngayon, kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na ito at natulungan ko kayo, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section, mga anak. I need your comments para maapit ang video na ito at makita rin ng iba. Kaya kahit simpleng thank you or smiley dyan sa ating comment section ay mag-iwan kayo. Okay? At please follow our Facebook page, Love Math TV. Laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and... Bye!